To build out our UI, let's start with the wireframes for the main activity. It displays a list of forecasts where each item contains an icon, a date, weather description, as well as high and low temperatures for that day. Since today's weather is probably most relevant to the user, we give more prominence to it as a list item compared to the other days. We'll start off by building the list item layout for future days because it's simpler, and then afterwards we'll come back to do the today layout. In the current implementation, the list item forecast layout XML is a horizontal linear layout of four text views. We'll need to modify the layout so that it looks like this wireframe. We should divide and conquer until we can use the view group layouts that we're familiar with. Can you imagine how you'd break down this UI into components that you know how to build? As a hint, what if I draw these separators here? Within those elements, can you find a way to break it down even further with view groups you're familiar with? You'll need nested view groups, which means view groups with children view groups. By the way, use the view ID names that we provide in the instructor notes below so that your code will match ours. To verify that the layout is being built correctly, hard code some text values into the fields such as tomorrow for the date or clear for the weather condition. For images, we can specify a placeholder drawable called IC underscore launcher. It's named this way because it's the launcher icon, which is also known as the app icon. And this is already included in our app. We'll be getting the rest of the weather icons for our app later in this lesson. If you want to see what this layout looks like, you can click on the design pane to see a preview of it. On the right, we see the component tree listing out the different views. We can also see for a given view what the properties are and their values. You can change the orientation of the device that you're previewing. You can also select different devices, such as a Nexus 7 or a Nexus 10. You can also preview multiple devices at the same time. As you build out your layout for this task, don't worry about the font color or font size or any other visual details until later. After you compile and run, the app should look something like this. Every list item has the same dummy data. When you change the layout, it will actually cause a crash in your app because your code previously assumed that this list item layout only had one text view. So you'll need to go to the forecast adapter Java file and comment out the lines of code in the bind view method. We're going to fix this method in a later video.